Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Uwana Udo and every week I share great content on how you can master your personal finance and grow your world. So today I'm doing a little sightseeing. I'm at the Lime Rock uh, Race Park. Um, this is in Connecticut and um, it's a very famous uh, race track. So for those who are into racing, so I'm currently here. There's a private event. Um, there's a group of people racing their, their personal cars right now. So it's a very beautiful place. Um, lots of exotic cars here. Lots of um, people here. You know, so I'm just here, just relaxing, um, enjoying the scene and all the cars. Let me pan out so you can see some of the cars. You know, you can see some cars over there. That's some of the cars right there coming in. There they are coming in. You can see them coming in right now. They're going to the pit. So, um, just one of those things, you know, whatever you want in life, you can accomplish. You just have to put your mind to it. You have to surround yourself with positive people. You have to surround yourself with, you know, the right uh, people in your life. Um, you can see some more cars coming in there, some very nice cars coming in. More cars coming in right now. This is what life is all about, you know. You work hard and you play hard. So, there's some cars pulling in right there. You see there? This is what life is all about. Okay, you have a goal, you have a dream, you go for it. So if you're new to my channel, my channel is based on personal finance and wealth creation. And every week I share content with my subscribers, you know, to um, show you what, what you can do in life. Okay, so this is just a quick video on my part, just sharing um, my life's journey and everything I'm doing right now to better myself and to improve myself. So we're going to jump into today's topic. So today's topic is on assets and liabilities. Now for most people, uh, they have the wrong notion of what an asset is and what a liability is. So we're going to go through that right now. Um, so what's an asset? An asset is basically something that puts money in your pocket. Meanwhile, a liability takes money out of your pocket. Now. For you to be successful financially, you have to have a grasp and understanding of what a financial statement is. So there are basically four parts to a financial statement. So for a financial statement, you got to have an income piece, you have to have an expense piece, there is the asset column and also the liability column. So income basically has to do with how much money do you have coming in? What are your sources of income? And then your expenses, what expenses do you have? And then your asset column has to do with what do you have in terms of assets? So like businesses, um, you know, what assets do you have that are generating income for you? So an asset is something that generates income for you, all right? A liability is something that takes money out of, out of your pocket. So for most people, you know, they put their money into liabilities, they think are assets. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case, all right? So you wanna make sure that you're investing your money in assets that put money in your pocket. Now, let's jump back into the financial statement. So if you go to a bank to apply for a loan, what they're gonna ask you is to provide a financial statement. There's a reason why they want you to provide a financial statement because the financial statement is a snapshot of your personal financial life. Okay, how have you managed your money? So that's the key. So banks want to see your financial health and your financial statement is the quickest way for them to be able to assess your financial health. Um, so the first thing they're going to look at is your income, okay? What sources of income do you have? What incomes do you have coming in? Would you have enough money, enough cash flow 
at the end of the month to service your debt, to service your obligation. And that's one thing that banks look out for. So when they ask you for your financial statement, there's a reason why they ask you for a financial statement because your financial statement is a blueprint of how you've handled your personal financial life. So the next piece they're going to look at is your expenses. What expenses do you have? What obligations do you have? So they're going to look at your expenses. And then in the asset column, they look at things that you have in terms of assets, you know, like if you have um, a business, a real estate portfolio, um, those are the things that they're going to look for. Any hard assets that you have that's valuable in the event that you don't pay your debt, then they can liquidate that to pay your obligations. And then they look at your liabilities. So your liabilities are things that you owe. So for instance, if you have a mortgage, if you have loans, if you have credit cards, if you have credit lines, um, those are the things that the bank will look at. And then at the end of the day, they're going to look at your cash flow. So your cash flow is the key. So income coming out, expenses going out, whatever is left is your cash flow. So you want to make sure that, you know, your cash flow in every single month. And that's what I keep stressing. And that's what I keep, you know, striving for. You have to cash flow every single month. Okay. There are certain months where things might be off, but you want to make sure that you are cash flowing every single month. So cash flow is the name of the game. All right. So just to summarize again, you have your income, you have your expenses, you have your assets, you have your liabilities, and then the last piece is your cash flow. All right. Now there's also a key thing that you want to understand, okay, which is your net worth. So your net worth, how to calculate your net worth is you take all your total assets, you subtract all your liabilities and whatever is left is your net worth. All right. So you want to make sure that you, you sit down and you take a look at your financial statement. You see where you are in life. Okay. Um, a nice car just went by. I hope you can see it. There you go. Hear that? That's what it's all about, folks. That's what it's all about. Anyways, let's jump back in. So, um, you want to make sure that you have a grasp of your financial statement, okay? Whereby you know where all your income's coming from, where your, all your expenses are, what all your assets are, what all your liabilities are, and then you figure out, you know, where you stand. So, I hope this makes sense to anyone who's watching this video like I said my channel is based on personal finance and wealth uh, creation I've been on this journey for a while um, so thank you so much for being here and I appreciate you being here okay thank you take care bye bye